We were both on the sled and we get on and off a bump and we fall off the sled. Eva Marie Saint is a film, stage, and television actress from the United States. She's won an Academy Award and a Primetime Emmy Award over her 75-year career and has been nominated for the Golden Globes and two British Academy Film Awards. She became the oldest living and earliest surviving Academy Award winner and one of the last remaining stars from Hollywood's golden age of cinema upon the death of Olivia de Havilland in 2020. Among her early credits is her portrayal as Thelma in Horton Foote's The Trip to Bountiful, which was initially shown on NBC before being transformed into the Tony Award-winning play of the same name. She got an Outer Critics Circle Award for her portrayal in the theatrical adaptation. She made her cinematic debut opposite Marlon Brando in Elia Kazan's On the Waterfront. The film, which won eight Academy Awards, including Best Picture, garnered her an Academy Award nod for Best Supporting Actress and a BAFTA nomination for Most Promising Newcomer. It's widely regarded as one of the best and most important films ever made, having established her as an instant celebrity. I grab a book and sit down, even if I've read it before, and just read something to clear my mind. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Her full name is Eva Marie Saint, but is also known as Eva. She was born July 4th, 1924 in Newark, New Jersey, making her 97 at the time of this production. She stands five feet, four inches tall. Eva's been inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame two times. She has a star for motion pictures, and later she was inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame for television. In 1954, Eva won the Oscar Award for her role in On the Waterfront, and after two days, she gave birth to her son, Daryl. While Eva was in high school, she was also a cheerleader. Eva is one of those six actresses that have been pregnant at the time of winning an Academy Award, the other five include Natalie Portman, Rachel Weisz, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Meryl Streep, and Patricia O'Neill. Eve is the 41st actress to win an Academy Award. Her favorite film is A Day for Night, which was released back in 1973. She's campaigned to ban mobile phone usage by motorists. On October 28, 1951, Saint married producer and director Jeffrey Hayden. They were married in 1955 and have two children together, Daryl Hayden and Lorette Hayden. Daryl was born two days after she was awarded an Academy Award for On the Waterfront. They were married for 65 years until Hayden died at the age of 90 on December 24, 2016. And we were married 65 years, and he died two years ago. That was my lucky break in life. She was the daughter of John Merle Saint and Eva Marie Saint. The actress attended Bethlehem Central High School in New York's Del Mar neighborhood. Her father worked for B.F. Goodrich as a credit manager. Lydia Gordon and John Quincy Saint were Eva's paternal grandparents. Both were born in Indiana, and John passed away in 1927. Lydia, on the other hand, was born in 1852 and passed away in 1902. Adelaide Louise Saint was Eva's older sister. Eva graduated from high school in 1942. The actress was later honored into Bethlehem Central High School's Hall of Fame in 2006. Eva attended Bowling Green State University and majored in acting. Additionally, she became a member of Delta Gamma Sorority and appeared in a performance of Personal Appearance. Allow me to inform you that there's an Eva-themed theater on the Bowling Green State University campus. This well-known actress was an active member of Theta Alpha Phi, the theater honorary fraternity. And in 1944, she served as the student council's record keeper. Eva originally desired to follow in her mother's footsteps and become a teacher. Her life, however, changed dramatically during her second year at Bowling Green. The drama department's chair advised that she audition for a play at a Delta Gamma sorority banquet. 
Saint's television career began as an NBC page in 1946-1947. She featured on the live NBC television show Campus Hoopla. Her performances on this show are captured on rare kinescope, and the Library of Congress has audio recordings of these telecasts. She also appeared on NBC in 1949 in Bonnie Maid's Versatile Varieties as one of the first singing Bonnie Maids featured in live ads. She was featured in a 1947 Life magazine special on television, as well as a 1949 major life piece on her as a struggling actress eking out a living in New York City. Sang continued to earn a living in the late 1940s with considerable work in radio and television. She earned the Drama Critics Award in 1953 for her Broadway stage performance in Horton Foote's The Trip to Bountiful, among such great actresses as Lillian Gish and Joe Van Fleet. Saint received her first Emmy nomination in 1955 for Best Actress in a Single Performance on the Philco Television Playhouse for her portrayal of the young mistress of middle-aged E.G. Marshall in Patty Chayefsky's Middle of the Night. She received another Emmy nomination for the 1955 television musical adaptation of Thornton Wilder's Our Town. Paul Newman and Frank Sinatra appeared as co-stars. Her career in recognition in television shows was so great that one rather exaggerated primal TV reviewer nicknamed her the Helen Hayes of television. Since 2000, Eva has appeared in several TV specials and documentaries. She also voiced the Nickelodeon animated series known as The Legend of Korra. In September 2012, she was cast as the adult Willa in the film adaptation of Mark Halperin's novel Winter's Tale. And in 2014, Eva appeared in the film Winter's Tale. Eva has appeared in at least 20 movies during her career. Saint most recently appeared at the 2018 Academy Award ceremonies at the age of 93 to present the award for costume design. When she entered the stage, she was greeted with a standing ovation. She's honored with two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, one for motion pictures located at 6624 Hollywood Boulevard and another for television at 6730 Hollywood Boulevard. A president that I voted for wins, I would like to be at the inauguration. Is that too political? Eva has mainly accumulated her net worth from her films. Moreover, she's earned money as a film producer and has added extra cash to her bank account through brand endorsement deals. Eva was paid $7,500 for appearing in On the Waterfront. In 1956, Eva earned $50,000 for appearing in That Certain Feelings. Eva made $100,000 for appearing in Rain Tree County in 1957. Saint's net worth is estimated to be $20 million. Eva has a house in New York. She currently lives in her duplex condo in West Los Angeles. Previously, Eva and her husband lived in a mansion in Mandeville Canyon. Eva Marie Saint likely has the following cars in her garage, an Austin Mini, a Jaguar XKE, a Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, a Pontiac GTO, and a BMW.
Bristol 401, 